angles and radians. We know that angles are geometric figure from the intersection of two lines, and we measure angles using degrees, but there is other measurement for angles, and this is radians. And a radian is the unit measurement of an angle using the ratio of the arc length of a circle to its radius. But why the arc length of a circle is used? Here is a circle. If we draw a line from center of the circle to the edge of the circle, and we call this line the radius. If we draw an arc equal to the length of the radius, and we draw another radius to the tip of the arc, we have radius 1 and radius 2 which are equal, and the arc length. The radius and the arc length are essential for measuring radians. If the radius and the arc length are equal, then the angle formed by the intersection of radius 1 and radius 2 is equal to 1 radian. Radian is abbreviated as rad. If we are going to extend or increase the arc length, this arc length is now longer than the radius, and this arc length is now represented by capital letter S. This increase in the arc length causes also the increase of the angle. For example, if the arc length is equal to 6 and the radius is equal to 3, to find the measurement of the angle in radians, we just simply divide the arc length by radius or S over R, so 6 divided by 3. And this is equal to 2, so the measurement of the angle in radian is equal to 2 radians. To find the measurement of an angle in radians, we just simply divide the arc length by the radius, and they should be in the same unit of length. Say, for example, if the arc length is in centimeters, then the radius must be in centimeters also.